you're going to say to me, Leggy, <coughs> tall, dark, and handsome. Wait a minute. You went looking. You're looking at the fragrance. All right, okay. Now, this fragrance is tall, dark, and handsome. If you were to describe me, you'd say average height, completely bold, and stupid looking. And I couldn't argue with any of those things. Okay, but this fragrance here, which is made by Fragrance World, it is a clone of the legendary One Million Elixir. Do they look similar? Does that matter? No. Right then, first of all, a, a massive, come on, come on, come here, come here, a massive, arms open wide, warm welcome to a John Egg fragrance review. Hands up, I'm not a professional. This channel is not monetized, there's nothing special about me. I'm just a random, crazy guy with a desperate passion for fragrances, and I want to pass that passion on to you. I want to get you to wear a good fragrance every single day. Whatever you're doing, whoever you're going to be with, wherever you're going, just wear a good fragrance every day. Now, where were we? Oh yeah. This fragrance, I'm going to tell you about the performance first and then we'll go in reverse order and then I'll tell you what it smells like and then we'll talk about the original thing. Right, okay. This fragrance here, which is made by Fragrance World, and the actual name of it is La Uno, La Uno, I think it is, a Million, <laughs> La Uno Million Elixir. Okay, let me spray it for you, and let me first of all tell you about the performance. Remember, professional spray, that way, that way. Okay, now, I've had this quite a while. As you can see, I'm about mm, just over halfway down this bottle. This fragrance cost me 18 British pounds on eBay UK. Okay, just store that in your mind. Okay, 18 British pounds. That's delivered, that's posted, that's to me. <laughs> right, now, this fragrance, I took it to work some time back, and my trainee. He smelt it and he went, cool, I like that Lego. Can I borrow it? So I says, yes, no problem. So he had it for a week and when he came back, he said, you know what, I had to buy it for my brother because he smelt it and he loves it. So he says, my brother now wears it. Okay, now his brother's sort of high school, I think sort of middle of high school. I don't know exactly what age he is, but his brother now owns and wears and rocks this. His brother uses it as, dare I say, a chick machine, pull, a chick pulling machine, he says, I think, something like that. Now, I will be honest with you, females love this because it's sweet, sticky, and gorgeously sexy fragrance. Okay, we'll come to that again in a minute. So here's the thing. So my trainee doesn't own it, and a few weeks back, he came in to work, and I just went, Elixir, and he went, yeah. All right, now you're gonna say that's not that impressive, Leggy, because he would have put it on maybe about an hour before I sort of smelt it on him. But you know what, there's so many different designer fragrances, but by the time you get to work, nobody's gonna smell it coming off you. So that was the first impressive thing about this. Within the hour, this is coming off him. But let me tell you, there's more than that. Because every time I went anywhere near him, now obviously we work in the same department, every time he walked past me, or I walked past him, I could smell this radiating off him. Okay, now, okay, I understand this fragrance, I recognise this fragrance, so I was quick to pick it up coming off him, but still, it was coming off him. And you know what, um, I'm going to say about middle of the afternoon, maybe half two, I walked past him and I went, I said, mate, that is incredible, I can still smell it coming off you, and he went, seriously, Leggy, he says, I can't still smell it on me, I says, trust me, I've just got a whiff coming off you, okay. In terms of a clone and the performance, this is absolutely amazing. We'll come to the smell in a minute. But trust me, just taking the performance alone, this one is about a six, seven, sometimes eight hour fragrance. And it is radiating off you 
for pretty much all of that time. Skin, you'll smell it the next day. Clothes, maybe a couple of days. This, my friends, Fragrance World have done this absolutely right in terms of its performance. Now, the original Packerabanne 1 million elixir, that has a long-term performance. Okay, you put it on your skin and for me, that's pretty much an all day fragrance. It's radiating off me, you know, but then oh, here's the thing. That's over a hundred British pounds. I think the hundred mil will cost you around about 110 British pounds. That is an eye watering amount for a designer fragrance. So fragrance world have absolutely nailed the performance, but what about the smell? Okay. Have they got the smell right? Now, I've owned this for a long time, sort of when it first came out a couple of years back. So I'm familiar with the pack of a band. Hmm. Now. There are differences. Let me try and explain it like this. The pack of a band it's just slightly more refined and it's just slightly smoother. The fragrance world, how can I put it, is, is a little bit brighter. It's a little bit more, it's not unrefined, it's just a little bit brighter. Okay, so maybe I could best say that it just lacks the overall depth. But honestly, honestly, sort of an hour in, you wouldn't tell the difference but it's only really at the start that the fragrance world just does miss out the depth of the pack of raban but i tell you what it doesn't miss out the value okay so i haven't got a calculator handy but try and do the maths so the 100 mil of that is around about 110 british pounds and the 100 mil of that is 18 british pounds now, if anyone can do the maths and drop a comment down below as to how many of these you can buy for that, do it, because I haven't got a clue. All I know is it's way better value. Now, <clears throat> if you want my honest opinion, if you have the money, go and buy the real thing, okay? The, you'll never beat the real thing, okay? Because the real thing is the real thing. But if you want to try the real thing maybe as a sample 18 pounds british money this would be a good starter if you wanted to say look i want to know if i want to spend the 110 british pounds then this could be a starter but then probably what would happen is you'd end up loving this so much that you'd probably stick with this or what about this i mean i have the original and i have this clone now i've hammered the clone i've hammered this one and what I tend to do, I tend to sort of alternate between the two because there's very, very little difference except for in the price. And you're going to say, oh, well and good, Leggy. But what about the actual smell? What do these two fragrances smell like? Now, I'm going to clue in the notes, but let me try and tell you. It's like the most gorgeous, gorgeous apple pie with the short crust sort of pastry, slightly oily pastry, and then someone pours some gorgeous, sticky, gloopy custard, vanilla custard over the top. Okay, now if you can picture a vanilla based fragrance, which has sort of apple notes and sort of almost pastry notes, that's this fragrance. Okay, if you want to look up on the website what the actual notes are, you can. But that is what you're going to smell. And if you were going to sort of eat a pudding based on its smell, this is the pudding that you would choose. Gorgeous, gorgeous apple pie with gloopy sticks, sweet vanilla custard all over it. Okay, it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, there are two downsides to both of these fragrances, to the One Million Elixir and the La Uno Million Elixir. Okay, for me personally, when it's extreme heat, and you're going to say, Leggy, you live in the UK, what do you call extreme heat? 
when I'm talking about 24, 25 degrees, and you're gonna say, there's gonna be people who are gonna drop a comment and say, Leggy, mate, mate, that's our winter. All right, for us here in the UK, 22 to 20 sort of six degrees is too hot, all right? At those temperatures, I struggle to wear this because it is just too sticky, sweet, and heavy, okay? For me, as, as long as it's not in those sort of, uh, sort of 22, 23 plus degrees, this is perfect, okay? And most of our time here in the UK, these are perfectly suitable. The other downside to this fragrance is because it smells so pudding-like, you kind of have to <laughs> stop. You want to sort of lick and bite your hand because it just, it, honestly, it is so good, this fragrance. You kind of want to eat it. Okay, so let's just recap. There's very little difference in terms of the smell between these two. But there's a massive, massive difference in terms of the price. I'm gonna suggest that you buy this, okay? If you do not have one million elixir and you love your gloopy, sticky, vanilla -y kind of fragrances, okay? This you're gonna love, okay? So get this for 18 British pounds. I'm gonna suggest that you'll probably go, you know what, that is just such an amazing clone, I don't need to buy the original. Or you might turn around and say, you know what, it's so good, I'd like to actually own the original as well. Okay, drop me a comment, see what you're gonna do. But you know what, Look, here's the crazy, crazy thing is, let me just tell you a story. When I first smelt One Million Elixir when it first came out, it took me to a fragrance, which I absolutely am a massive fan of. Now, here's the thing. So, a lot of people will have heard of this legend. 24 gold, focus then, what happened then? It can't focus on gold. So the 24 gold by Scent Story, okay, it's only an Eau Toilet, but trust me, this is nuclear. Okay, I don't even know if it's still available anymore. Maybe it is. Okay, a lot of people have heard of that, but not many people have heard of 24 gold ode edition by Scent Story. And you know, the absolutely crazy thing is, and I'm, uh, I'm on the dribbles of this one, so I can't spray it. When I smelt one million elixir, I was like, I've been here before. And okay, this is a hidden gem. This is rare and I don't even think you can buy it anymore. But if anyone out there has got 24 gold old edition and you've also got one million elixir, drop a comment if you think there are very, very much similarities in those. Okay, now, I think that's pretty much the end of the review. You know what, I'm so pleased you've been here. I'm so glad you've got this far in the video and you haven't clicked on that cross up there. So I really, really do appreciate it. So I'm not a professional, I'm not an expert, I'm just a crazy random guy. And I just want to share my fragrances with you. Maybe, maybe sometimes you'll just go away with a smile on your face and say, Leggy talks waffle, but he's all right. And sometimes you might go away and say, I might try that one. Okay, drop me a comment, leave me a thumbs up, that would be awesome. And please come back for the next one, because hopefully there will be another one. In the meantime, though, I need you to do a couple of things. I need you to stay safe. That's really important. Please stay safe. The second thing is even more important to her. I need you to do this. Get a good fragrance, whichever one you choose, and spray it. And the good thing is with a clone, especially one like this, you can almost overspray it. It's cost you next to nothing. And you're gonna sit, my friends, you're gonna sit in that gorgeous, gorgeous scent bubble for a mighty long time. Trust me, I mean, I'm smiling just smelling this one because it is just so good. I say it's sticky, sweet, it's edible. I wanna bite my neck if I could, vampire style. But trust me, you spray a good fragrance, You'll keep your smile, you'll have a good day, and you'll message me and say, Leggies, for once, you're right. Okay, now when I find the off button, I'm gonna be off. But see you next time, and uh, where is it? It's here somewhere. I've got it. Goodbye.